We're at the hot springs today. We're at Mount Princeton Hot Springs in Nathrop, Colorado. We'll try to show you around. Uh, we don't want to drown here. We make soup or salad. Which one? What kind of soup do we have? Lentil vegetable, no chicken noodle, minestrone. What is minestrone? Minestrone with pasta. Damn, come on, man. What? No. Come on. Go. Go, go. Let's go. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, bye. getting foggy. We're leaving later today to go to Breckenridge. I'm going into town to work on these videos, but check out this view. There's not a day that I'm not humbled by a mountain. I'm 
here at the health food store. I have been making it aware on Snapchat and sometimes on Instagram that I have stopped washing my hair with shampoo. It's going really well, but I do want my hair to feel a little bit cleaner. So I'm gonna go inside and grab some chamomile tea, some rose tea, and try to make a hair rinse. Hello. Hello. Are we moving the scamp? Yeah, buddy! Right, buddy! Oh! Somebody let the dogs out! <laughs> yep! Yeah, buddy! Jeez! That was super heavy! Back, back! Come back and stop! Bark, bark! Nice! That was easy! These are gear ties. They're the most useful thing in the world. They're like a rubber sheath around a metal wire and you can use them to like wrap up things. I used them for a uh, water bottle holder on my bike the other day. They're awesome. Hi Breckenridge friend! How are ya? Whoa! Sarah's not here yet. It has been seven weeks since I've used shampoo in my hair, and it's been almost four months of me weaning off of shampoo altogether. Baron was the inspiration behind this. He has really nice hair, he's been growing it out, and he very rarely uses shampoo, and it looks great. I just don't have a shower, and I've been learning a lot on the internet about people bringing back their natural hair oils and not needing to use shampoo as often. In my experience, my hair has been really nice, it has stopped producing excessive amounts of oil. And now, as you can see, after six weeks, this looks like what it would look like after maybe day three before when I was using shampoo twice a week. I'm still trying to figure out ways to make my hair clean and keep it nice. And I came across this article on the internet about a chamomile and rose hair rinse. So I'm taking about two tablespoons of dried chamomile, two tablespoons of dried rose, and making a tea out of it. The recipe calls for about two cups of tea strongly brewed. I brewed it for about 15 minutes and then poured it through a strainer into a jar, adding about half of a teaspoon of baking soda. The original recipe calls for coconut oil and I used a teeny teeny bit of it in this rinse, but next time I think that I'll leave that out. I rinsed my hair really well and scrubbed through my roots in the shower and then I poured the tea over my head. Next time I'll make sure that it's warm before I pour it on. I just scrubbed that through my hair, rinsed it out, and let my hair air dry. It's really soft. It doesn't feel as gunky as it did before. The pieces of my hair are not individually separated like they normally are after I use shampoo, but it just feels a lot better and it smells really nice. As I'm like rubbing through my scalp, I can still feel dandruff and stuff. And I think in my next batch, I might try some tea tree or peppermint oil. But overall, I think I'm going to continue doing this as my shampoo replacement until I decide not to. Go play with her. He's like, I'm not in the mood for playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, let me outside. Hunter's the man with the plan. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I am so close to 200,000 subscribers, so if you like the content that Baron and I are making, please consider subscribing or purchase a sticker on my website. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.